Nature hides some of its most stunning treasures right in front of us. Gems that most people walk past without even noticing. These rare stones might look ordinary at first, but with the right awareness, they reveal incredible colors, patterns, and hidden beauty. Today, we're exploring nature's secret gems that hide in plain sight. So don't overlook what could be a true treasure beneath your feet. Hidden gemstones rarely appear by chance. Their discovery follows subtle signs often overlooked by the untrained eye. The untold trick lies not in digging endlessly, but in learning how the earth itself reveals what it hides. Every region carries signals, rock layers, soil textures, plant life, and even water movement can guide the careful observer. Professionals understand that these markers form a system, a language written across landscapes, pointing directly to where gems are most likely to rest. The first element of this method begins with geological alignment. Gemstones form in specific environments, pegmatite veins rich in quartz and feldspar, metamorphic belts subjected to pressure and heat, and alluvial channels where erosion has carried crystals downstream. By studying the surrounding terrain, one can narrow vast wilderness into zones of higher probability. Flat plains may hold little, but sharp hillsides, river bends, or fault lines often concentrate mineral wealth. Next comes soil analysis by observation, a method that requires no tools. Certain soils reveal unusual color or texture. Dark, heavy clays signal mineralization, while sandy gravels near streams often trap denser stones. A red or black tint in the ground can mark iron-rich zones, conditions under which garnet or sapphire may occur. Even without scientific testing, soil speaks through its shade and grain. Another layer of the untold trick involves water flow dynamics. Rivers and streams act as natural sorting machines. Lighter materials wash away, while heavy gemstones settle in predictable locations, inside bends, behind large boulders, and at the base of waterfalls. A careful eye can detect patches of black sand or unusually coarse gravel. Reliable signs that heavier materials, including gemstones, are trapped there. Beyond soil and water, indicator plants extend the story. The technique also relies on reading erosion patterns. Where hills erode, fragments of host rock travel downhill, carrying traces of gemstones. Exposed slopes and dry gullies often reveal small chips of quartz, mica, or garnet. Following these fragments upslope can lead directly to the hidden source, a vein or deposit untouched. Historical records add another dimension. Regions once explored for gold, tin, or copper often conceal overlooked gemstones. Prospectors of the past focused on metals, leaving behind gem-bearing gravels untouched. Old mine sites, tailings, and abandoned river diggings can hold treasures missed by earlier eyes. Yet the untold trick does not rest on one sign alone. The power lies in layering multiple indicators, geological setting, soil tone, plant type, water movement, erosion fragments, and historic traces. When these align, the probability of hidden gems rises dramatically. Professional prospectors apply this as a silent checklist. Each sign builds upon the last until the evidence becomes too strong to ignore. At that moment, the land itself directs the search. No guesswork, only guided discovery. But nature conceals its secrets with balance. False signals exist. Red soil without the right geology may lead to nothing. River gravels without upstream mineral belts may prove barren. The trick lies in ruling out coincidence and only trusting patterns that repeat across indicators. What emerges is a methodical system, a way to decode landscapes by observation alone. A hillside, a stream, or a patch of vegetation becomes more than scenery. It becomes a map, directing the attentive toward what lies beneath. The untold trick of finding hidden gems becomes sharper when theory is transformed into practice. Observation alone can guide, but systematic application ensures success. This requires assembling each signal into a chain, leading from surface clues to concealed deposits. The process begins with terrain scanning at a distance. High ridges, abrupt valleys, or exposed cliff faces are natural points of focus. Gem-bearing zones often align with visible fractures, or sudden changes in rock structure. These features are markers of tectonic activity where pressure and heat once forged gemstones. 
Upon closer inspection, rock identification follows. Granite intrusions, schist belts, and gneiss formations serve as common hosts. In these environments, quartz veins frequently cut through the bedrock, and such veins may shelter beryl, topaz, or tourmaline. The presence of mica shimmers or feldspar glints in sunlight indicates favorable geology for crystal growth. Once the host rocks are recognized, the eye shifts downward toward depositional traps. Erosion liberates gemstones, but gravity gathers them in predictable ways. Hollows at the base of slopes, crevices between boulders, or depressions in stream beds are natural collectors. These locations hold concentrations far greater than scattered ground. The system advances further with comparative sampling by sight. Even without tools, fragments of semi-transparent quartz, garnet chips, or zircon grains can be spotted in loose soils or gravels. The surrounding matrix reveals whether they are native to the ground or transported from afar. By tracing these fragments upslope, the hidden origin of the vein may be located. In addition, seasonal patterns sharpen accuracy. During the dry season, riverbeds shrink, exposing deeper gravels where heavy stones rest. Rainfall, in contrast, washes lighter material downstream, leaving gemstone-rich pockets exposed in bends or sandbars. Understanding these cycles transforms rivers into rotating treasure maps, renewed each year by nature's hand. The untold trick also draws upon natural alignments between plants and minerals. Where metal-loving flora thrives, the soil chemistry often supports gemstone growth. shiny leaf trees or deep-rooted shrubs signal unusual ground conditions. When found in clusters near quartz veins or mineralized ridges, they act as biological signposts. Human history intertwines with this method as well. Forgotten paths of ancient prospectors, faint earthworks, or discarded fragments near abandoned camps can lead to overlooked deposits. What was once dismissed as waste by older miners may, under today's understanding, point directly to gemstones of value. Yet caution remains essential. Nature paints illusions alongside truths. A stream rich in quartz may lack gem-quality crystals. A red soil band may be iron-stained clay, not garnet-bearing earth. Only through multiple confirming signals does certainty grow. The trick is not to believe in one sign, but in the alignment of many. When properly combined, these elements form a professional technique. 1. Scan the landscape for geological formations. 2. Observe soil color and texture for mineral traces. 3. Study water flow to locate natural traps. 4. Note plant species that indicate unusual ground chemistry. 5. Track fragments and erosion trails back to their source. 6. Cross-reference with historical evidence of mining activity. This chain of observation creates a precise, reliable system of discovery. The essence of the untold trick. Through patience, skill, and interpretation of natural signals, gemstones cease to be hidden. They become predictable, traceable, and eventually reachable without the need for invasive digging. The Earth itself provides the map, and those who learn to read it uncover what others pass by unnoticed. The world's hidden gemstones are not just chance finds. They are markers left by geology, by plants, by rivers, and by history itself. Understanding this untold trick unlocks more than discovery. It builds respect for the deep connection between earth and treasure. At first glance, it looked ordinary. A weathered stone sitting silently among thousands of others on the ground its shape unremarkable, its surface rough, its color blending seamlessly with the earth around it. Nothing about it demanded attention, and yet beneath that disguise it carried a story millions of years in the making. This is the paradox of discovery. Some of the world's most valuable minerals, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, even gold-bearing quartz, rarely present themselves in glittering perfection. Instead, they hide in plain sight Cloaked in what seems to be nothing more than rock, the science begins with formation. Gemstones and precious minerals are forged under conditions so extreme that ordinary matter is transformed into something extraordinary. Diamonds emerge under crushing pressure in the mantle, carried upward by volcanic eruptions. Sapphires and rubies crystallize in metamorphic rocks under heat and tectonic stress. Gold is locked into quartz veins deep underground, 
only freed when erosion reveals fragments at the surface. By the time they reach human eyes, most have endured erosion, weathering, and transport. Their outer layers may appear dull, fractured, or coated in minerals. What seems like just a stone is often a natural container hiding a treasure within. Professionals know that appearance alone cannot be trusted. Instead, they rely on subtle clues. A faint shimmer when light strikes at the right angle. A break in texture where crystalline structures peek through. An unusual weight when compared to surrounding rocks. These are the silent whispers of something more. Consider the case of quartz with gold inclusions. From a distance, the stone appears pale, opaque, even chalky. But upon closer inspection, faint veins of metallic luster thread through its structure. To the untrained eye, nothing more than a curious pattern. To the skilled observer, a potential source of fortune. Or take the story of alluvial sapphires. Carried by rivers for centuries, their surfaces are rounded, coated in mud and sand. Only by washing and tumbling are the brilliant blues revealed. To passers-by, they are pebbles. To the watchful, they are the hidden sparks of corundum. Techniques for uncovering these secrets are rooted in both patience and precision. Geologists break rocks open to study their interiors. Prospectors swirl river sediments, waiting for denser fragments to settle. Collectors train their eyes to catch the faint play of light across rough surfaces. Each method uncovers what lies beneath the mask of ordinary stone. But the Earth's trickery does not stop there. Some rocks mimic the appearance of valuable minerals, fooling even experienced searchers. Pyrite, often called fool's gold, glitters with a false promise. Colored quartz may resemble emeralds or topaz. Only through careful testing, hardness, streak, weight, or luster, can truth be separated from illusion. The suspense builds in this reality. For every handful of plain stones, there may be one that hides an extraordinary story. And unless someone knows how to listen to what the rock is trying to say, its secret may never be revealed. In regions where gemstones occur, countless discoveries begin this way. What follows is often disbelief until tests confirm the truth. The ground is a vault and rocks are its locked boxes. Every fragment has a possibility, every pebble a hidden narrative. What looks like nothing today could, under the right knowledge, transform into one of the most remarkable finds tomorrow. What turns an ordinary stone into an extraordinary discovery is not chance. It is awareness. The surface of the earth is littered with clues, but only those who learn to recognize them uncover the truth. One of the most effective techniques is the study of mineral veins. Quartz, for example, often acts as a carrier of gold. When veins of quartz cut through darker host rocks, they demand investigation. Their fractures may be filled with metallic glints, sometimes faint, sometimes bold enough to rewrite a prospector's fortune. Another method lies in gravity itself. Gold, garnet, and diamond are all heavier than most surrounding minerals. Over time, water carries away lighter materials, leaving dense fragments behind. A pan of river sediment may seem nothing more than mud, sand, and gravel until it is swirled and the heavy particles settle at the bottom, revealing flashes of brilliance. The suspense intensifies when unusual rocks appear in unexpected places. A volcanic pebble in a sedimentary valley. A crystal shard lying far from any visible outcrop. These anomalies act as breadcrumbs, leading to the hidden source. Each misplaced fragment is a messenger from deeper layers, hinting at what still lies undiscovered. Some of the most legendary finds in history were uncovered this way. Diamonds mistaken for glassy pebbles. Opals that looked like common stones until sunlight revealed fiery colors within. Gold nuggets dismissed as ordinary rocks, only to reveal their true weight when lifted. The lesson repeats itself. Extraordinary value often wears the mask of the ordinary. Modern prospectors enhance this ancient search with tools like hand lenses, hardness kits, in UV lamps. But even with advanced technology, the core principle remains unchanged. Pay attention to the rocks others ignore. Each discovery carries an echo of time. That stone on the ground may have begun its journey hundreds of millions of years ago. Forged in the depths of the earth, it rose through volcanic eruptions, was broken down by wind and water, and traveled across rivers and valleys. Now it rests silently, 
waiting for someone with knowledge to recognize it. The suspense is not in what is seen, but in what is overlooked. The plain rock, the unremarkable pebble, the heavy stone that feels different in the hand. These are nature's puzzles. And for those willing to solve them, the rewards can be beyond measure. Every stone may appear lifeless, but beneath the surface many conceal veins of fire, crystal brilliance, or metallic promise that can change lives forever. The ground beneath us hides more than dirt and stone. It hides stories, histories, and treasures that most will walk past without a second glance. But knowledge transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. What appears to be just a rock could hold the key to riches, beauty, or history itself. Nature never stops surprising us. What looks like an ordinary stone can hold incredible beauty just waiting to be discovered. Remember, awareness is the key that transforms simple rocks into priceless gems. If you enjoyed this discovery, don't forget to like the video, share it with other gem lovers, and subscribe for more real gemstone adventures here on ProGems. Thanks for watching, and keep your eyes open for the treasures nature hides in plain sight.